everyone, it is your boy Winster and I am back at it again with another video. Konami done did it, dropped a new ban list on us on February uh, 6, 2023. Goes in effect February 13th. Uh, but before we go through the ban list and what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, my thoughts and opinions on it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on the notification. Help your boy out with that algorithm. Leave a comment of what you thought on today's video. Leave a like, turn on the notification bell, and please be sure to hit me up on all those social media accounts that I'm going to link in the description box. Let's jump right into today's video. We got a new ban list, guys. The new ban list is actually fucking insane. I, I, I cannot believe that this actually happened. The ban list goes into effect February 13th, uh, so that is exactly one monday from today so tier players this is your time to shine make sure that you live out your glory days uh make sure you play all the cards that you can right now because that shit is coming to an end i'm joking i personally think that this ban list uh was a really good one in my personal opinion everyone's gonna have a different opinion than me but it does address a lot of problems with the current metagame and where it was like having issues with in my personal opinion like floodgating and having some almost unbreakable boards due to the strength of some decks let's go ahead and address the new cards i think a big one and i'm a little shocked and uh put back by it is the banding of Arti artifact scythe obviously it's a really strong card uh preventing special summons for the whole turn which is pretty broken uh, but I don't think the card was seeing a lot of play, and, but I do think Konami was maybe setting up so you can't really use this in the future moving forward, even after the ban list. Um, so even though it's not seeing a lot of use right now, I definitely think it's a good hit. Windberry Statue, by far a really, really great hit. Uh, yes, the only deck that was really running it was Flunderese. Having a powerful Floodgate, such as Windberry Statue, part of your combo, part of your end board, and not only that, very consistent, very hard to overcome. Um, so you definitely need the right cards in order to get around it. I think that was a really smart move. And also, it doesn't really affect Flunderese that much. Um, so I think a very, very smart hit. Kilimit Kit Kalos. I am surprised that they hit the tier limits this early um this is something that happened in the ocg as well they got banned and you know all the tier players are like trying to scramble thinking of new ways to still play their uh, their strategy but this is really big this is one of their main monsters sprite elf i am kind of taken back by that honestly i did not expect any of the sprite cards to get hit in previous ban list uh the sprite uh strategy actually got hit uh by the banning of rodent tonin because it allowed uh for totally awesome super consistently sprite elf was at the center of that uh so being able to ban this card is gonna severely hurt the sprite strategy there are still other ways to play the deck in my opinion i was definitely caught off guard with this i did not expect them to hit sprite elf onto the limited uh now this by far is the craziest part of the ban list i did not expect for konami to hit all these cards agito the ancient sentinel kalbeck the ancient vanguard keldo the sacred protector and Midoriya, the Sword of Oracle. Yes, they are still strong cards in and of themselves. I think these are all really smart hits. Because of how strong the, the Ishizu cards, it allowed the Telemint cards to just run rampant and wild. And Telemint Havnus, Telemint Merle, and Telemint Sharon. I expected them to not be hit yet. I uh, One more Telemint Ishizu format left in them, but them getting hit is pretty insane. We got Ancient Fairy Dragon to come off of the ban list. Um, the only reason that this even got uh, removed off the ban list is because of the errata. So um, I'm not sh shocked at this at all. There's nothing that actually got hit to semi-limited. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, we do have some cards that came off uh, and went to uh, completely unlimited. Uh, those cards were Destrudo. Um, and Yadagarasu. I think those are the bigger cards and maybe the Spiral, but I wasn't playing during the Spiral format, um, but I do think it is crazy that Destrudo actually came off the ban list, so that is probably going to be changing some decks around. Things that I wanted to talk to you about today is, uh, you know, where the meta is going to stand after the banning of these cards, right? There were some pretty big bans. First of all, before we move forward with my thoughts and the ban list and what's going to come after the fact, I definitely want to give a shout out to Konami. Konami for once has 
done right by the community, in my personal opinion. And not just that, but also address the right cards that needed to get hit. And on top of that, they did it in a timely manner. The last time that we got any kind of ban list was, what, a couple months ago? And yes, it was a very, very small ban list. Uh, but the fact that they're banning cards or updating the ban list in a very timely manner, I'm kind of shocked. This is not the Konami I know. Again, I haven't been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! long. I have been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! long enough to see how often that the ban list drops. And for the most part, it's about four maybe the three months until the new ban list and the fact that we got something this soon this thought through is definitely a good sign that maybe konami is listening to the fans uh because a big ban last ban list was mystic mind and now um and that was due to player outcry of you know talking about how powerful the card is but at that same notion the community has been talking so long on how strong wind barrier statue is how strong tier limit shizu is uh how strong other cards are and they are listening to the community so hopefully this is a good sign that there's going to be some pr between the players and the company uh but only times could tell but i definitely wanted to give a shout out uh flunderies after the ban list i personally think it's still a very strong strategy you have impin to negate all the monster effects on the field that aren't normal summon you have cards like d shifter that you're going to be able to still run in the main to banish all the cards uh, you're going to still be able to run cards like harpy's feather storm to negate all monster effects for a turn which is ridiculous, considering that the banning of Wind Barrier Statue is going to allow you to at least play the game, um, is definitely a nice addition. So I do still think that Flunderese, even though it got a nerf, it's still going to be able to be consistent in the format, uh, being able to negate and banish all your shit. I personally think it's a really good strategy still. The next strategy I wanted to talk about is the Sprite strategy. Banning Elf is a very, very big hit to the Sprite strategy. The deck was already lacking a very strong end board uh, be due to the banning of Rodent Totem in previous ban list. But now that the fact that Sprite Elf is also banned on top of it is going to make it that much more harder uh, for the Sprite deck to be consistent. There are a potentially varieties of the the sprite strategy that can be run sprite runic could potentially still be a thing and sprite evil twins could still be a thing uh only time could tell but i would say that the strategy did falter a tad bit because the consistency hits in sprite elf being arguably the best link to in the game and almost a generic link to only needing a link to rank two or xc2 monster to go into it the tail and shizu strategy got fucking demolished um all the consistency cards the shizu cards all the milling got fucking hit to one and all the names that allow you to fusion summon got hit to one so um as a result i do think the deck will struggle a little bit however uh ocg did get hit a very very big hit as well um but the deck is still super consistent um just having the names in the deck uh, allows you to technically play to your Shizu, uh, but adding cards like Swamp King to the mix are going to still allow you to play. Yes, you will have to commit a lot more resources uh, to get to the plays that you want or to get to the end board that you want. The deck is still playable. Just look at OCG. They, have, they got fucking destroyed over there too, and they're still arguably the best deck in the format. Another thing that we could look at when it comes to tier Shizu is that the field spell was not hit in any regards. Not that it is a bad card, uh, not that it isn't a strong card, um, but it wasn't the biggest factor of the deck. It's ultimately just a searcher. The stronger effects are the names. Limiting those cards is definitely, in my opinion, the right strategy to take. So those are my thoughts and opinions, guys. With the new ban list coming out, a new set dropping, and a YCS, only time could tell where the meta is going to go. Um, I just wanted to share with you my thoughts and opinions and where potentially things can go uh, considering the new ban list. If you guys enjoy this content, please hit that subscribe button. It does help a lot with the algorithm. And also, please be sure to turn on the notification bell. If you guys want to watch more of my Yu-Gi-Oh! content, there is plenty coming. I got a branded Despia deck post release a photon hypernova in the works so we're going to be working on that and if you guys want to see that this is the only place you're going to be able to check it out the best one until next time guys my name is winster thank you for checking out today's video and you have a good rest of your day